Hey guys, it is your girl Kim from Kim's Side Money Plans. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, I am a full-time multi-upper that does DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. So tonight is Friday. We're gonna start my evening shift. So I am ready to, I'm ready, ready to go. <laughs> However, I just walked out of my house and you can see it's actually somewhat sunny out, right? I heard like the biggest clap of thunder and I look that way and I go, whoa, <laughs> thunderstorms are coming. So we'll kind of see what tonight brings. It should be, it should make a very interesting evening <laughs> to say the very least. So guys, I am ready to make some money tonight. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, so I have my first order to kick off the evening. My strategy going into tonight, because I had such a good Uber night, and I feel like Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes Thursdays, it did work last night. This could work at least in my area. I tried to, my first order, I tried to get an Uber Eats order, and I tried to do Uber Eats, because I feel like once you start with Uber Eats, you kind of get on an Uber Eats Role, and let's face it, they're my number one money producer for me. So my goal <laughs> is to keep going on a Uber roll. So that's my that's my strategy going into tonight. Will it hiccup along the way? Probably. I'll probably have to turn on Grubhub or DoorDash at some point. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully I just get an Uber Eats roll and we keep on going. So anyway, I have my first order of the evening. It is an Uber Eats order. It's a stacked order. $20.05. It's telling me it's only going to take me 21 minutes to do. So, and it's only one restaurant. It's, it's Tacoholics. So, not too bad. I always like it when it's one restaurant if I can help it. And if it's not one restaurant, I try to make sure that the restaurants are really close to each other. That makes it super easy. So, I am on my way. The only problem is, is one of the drops offs is in. Seabright, which is the shore area. It's literally on the beach. So Friday night traffic, shore traffic, it could be a little dicey for a little bit. So I don't know. We'll see what traffic is going to bring tonight. But I'm looking to the left of me still and I'm still seeing lightning and thunder. So I'm hoping that I can get this done really quickly, quicker than to 21 minutes. So hopefully I can get it delivered before the store comes the storm come. So I am on my way to Talkaholics. Let me go grab these orders and fingers crossed they get it done before the storm comes. sushi places once again I took a gamble on this one sushi place I usually stay away from it during the weekends because it can get a little backed up and talk about knowing your restaurants usually they know me and usually if they see my name they usually put it through a little quicker so I'm hoping that's the case in this situation 
situation, so I kind of took a took a little leap of faith in this one. So I'm on my way to the first sushi place, and then I'll be going to the next sushi place. Okay, so the good news is, is my order only took five minutes, which I thought it was going to be longer, so that's the good news. So, and I was right, they saw my name and they put my order through quickly. So, hey, five minutes at the restaurant, not too bad. Usually it's like 20 to like a 30 minute wait. I'm usually backed up that far on weekends. But, so, funny story is, so this, guy, this other driver, and I can see his DoorDash screen is open. Only thing I hear him, he's at the counter and he's just like, can you just get me my food? <laughs> and I'm like, why, why as a driver would you speak to a restaurant that way? If you speak to a restaurant that way, chances are they're going to delay your order even more. The nicer you are at a restaurant, it's just, uh, I'm, I always preach this, the nicer you are at a restaurant, the quicker your order comes. The meaner you are to restaurants, the slower your order is going to come. I'm just saying, that's just what I found. So of course, the, the poor girl, she goes, sir, can you please step aside because I need to take out our customers. So finally the guy steps aside and I go up and I said, hi, I'm here for, I forgot the customer's name. And she goes, okay, no problem, we'll be there. It'll be ready in like five minutes, Kim. And they know me by name by now. So I said, okay, thanks, I'm gonna be out of my car. So with that, and they're so nice, they're so good to me. They actually bring, like talk about curbside experience, like they bring it to my car for me so I don't even have to get out of the car and this guy is still waiting. <laughs> I don't know why I kind of find it ironic and kind of funny at the same time. Anyway, I have one of the orders. I am on my way to the next restaurant. Okay, so it's raining. <laughs> it's all good. Rain is always a good thing in my book, especially when it comes to gig work. So I took a $12 order. It's saying it's gonna take 21 minutes. It's on Uber. It's kind of funny. If you look at the map, it looks like I'm just doing one big huge circle. <laughs> so it's two, I mean, it's two miles to the sushi place and then another like two and a half miles or whatever to the customer's house. It's kind of funny. But anyway, I am on my way to a different, this will be like my third sushi place just tonight. It must be like a sushi night for people, but I am on my way to get some sushi. <laughs> opportunity it will be put to the next dash or I'm like really I'm on pause oh, so frustrating when that happens anyway back to this so it's Grubhub order <laughs> $17 order it's Tacoholics which is right there I'm gonna go in and grab it but at 
to say, when I was driving tonight, I was thinking about one thing. So last night I had, or was it yesterday afternoon? I can't remember what, but it was definitely yesterday. I had an order, I think it was Burger King, for like 14 miles for like $8. And then I didn't show you yesterday, but I got like a crazy Grubhub order that they wanted me to go to a restaurant that was like 15 miles away and the delivery was like right there. But I'm like, really? So as I was driving tonight, I was thinking, out of all the drivers that are out there, like this is my thought process, you can't tell me that there's a not another driver that is close enough to that restaurant to go pick it up so it becomes a shorter delivery. Like that's kind of like the mindset like I don't get or like I just, I don't know. I, whenever I see like, orders where like I'm like I hate to say like five or six miles away from the restaurant and you're expecting me as a driver to drive all the way to the restaurant and then drive all the way to a customer's house like you can't tell me that you don't have a driver close to that restaurant I, I don't know something I was thinking about when I was driving because whenever something doesn't make sense to me that's when I like start questioning and I start thinking about it but the crazy things that go in our heads as we're <laughs> we're delivering but anyway that was my thought of the evening let me go into Talkaholics let me go grab this order and we're going to continue on <laughs> Okay, you guys, last order of the night, $8.75 on Uber. It's saying it's gonna take 20 minutes. I really just don't foresee that happening just because it's Wawa. It's usually ready, in, out, and done. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into Wawa, go grab it. I cannot wait to recap you guys on how I did today. Okay, you guys, my night is coming to an end. It was such a crazy, busy night, but it felt so good. And let's get right into the numbers. So for DoorDash, I did $17.50. Grubhub, I did $38.80. And then for Uber, as of right now, I have in $235.91. I'm seeing two tips coming back yet. So those total $10.93. So once everything comes back, I should have in for Uber $246.84. So my total for the day is $303.14. It was a really good day. So I worked nine hours today, so on an average, I did $33.66 an hour. And then as far as deliveries are concerned, I did two DoorDash deliveries, three Grubhub deliveries, 21 Uber deliveries. My strategy worked. <laughs> So I did 26 deliveries all together. So on an average, I did $11.65 per delivery. And guys, those are my totals for today. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I really appreciate it. I had lots of fun today. So if you are new here and like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button before you leave today. Also, everybody give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me comments. I love hearing from you guys. And then also don't forget to share my channel. And guys, that's it for today. So if you're driving, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.